All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again. Now, I caught this one right here yesterday where Eric Trump, Donald Trump's son, went off on Letitia James and that corrupt Judge Moron. That's what his name is, Judge Moron. He went off on both of them, and he vowed that he is and his father is not going to pay no four hundred and fifty four million dollars. Now, a lot of people going around talking about, well, Donald Trump said he didn't have the money, but he posted on True Social that he got five hundred million. Yeah, he got five hundred million, but he don't have five hundred million to give them. That man wanted to use that money for his campaign. He don't have five hundred million to give them because they are corrupt. They are sitting there lying. Talking about where he inflated his property. Just all type of crazy stuff. I mean, just crazy. Now, Eric Trump, like I said before, he went off on both of them. He did not hold back. He said some important stuff that all of us needs to hear. Because he went on Fox News yesterday and he said a whole lot of stuff. And I and like I said before, Eric Trump was not happy. He didn't play around at all. So we definitely finna go ahead and dive straight into this. If y'all could do me a favor, please watch the entire video so you can see, you can hear everything Eric Trump had to say about this. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this because like I said, Eric Trump went off. Let's go. Executive Vice President of the Trump Organization. He is President Trump's son, Eric Trump. Eric, good to see you. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Maria. So the first question, of course, is how are you dealing with this? What is your plan to meet this judgment? Yeah. Well, it's so sad. First of all, I'm a guy that grew up in New York. My father built a skyline of New York, and this is an election interference. And they go out and they ask you to post a half a billion dollar bond. Maria, I want to put that in context. I went out to the largest sureties in the world, the largest sureties in the country. They said, Eric, the last time we've seen a bond of that size is when we did the big dig in Boston which was a $25 billion construction project that lasted almost 25 years. They're trying to put my father out of business. They're trying to take all his resources that he would otherwise put into his own campaign for, for presidency. This is New York State. This is what we're seeing. Letitia James campaigned on this promise, and now they're, they're making him do something that's not physically possible. Putting up a half a billion dollar bond, bonds that size don't exist in this country. A $10 million bond is a large bond. A $15 million bond is an enormous bond, a half a billion dollar bond. And Maria, remember one thing, the banks all testified Trump was the greatest borrower we've ever had. I mean, there, there was no victim. There's, this is a crooked system with a yep. crooked attorney general in mm -hmm. a crooked court that literally wants to put my father out of business. And, and you know who they're actually gonna hurt? They're gonna hurt the thousands and thousands of employees that we have in New York State. These are janitors, these are doormen, these are you know, people that work in commercial buildings, they're going to hurt those individuals, not not the executive. They're going to hurt those individuals. How about all the contractors that we employ to do build outs? How about you know everybody else that relies on our family, thousands of people, yeah. all for their own political vendetta? I, it's I'm, insane. I'm trying to understand how this number came about, $454 million or $464 million, and what the real number is. How did they come up with this number? You know what? It, it was it was a crooked number. They, yep. there, there are no victims. There there is no number. Right. The number should be zero. zero. My, my father's run a you know, great company. I run a great company. We've never had a default. We've never missed a payment. We've never been in a breach of covenant. Every single one of our lenders came out, and he goes out, and the judge comes out and says, you know, I want to take disgorgement. I want to go back and I want to take interest rates that you paid on mortgages and put it up to 10, 11, 12 percent, and go <laughs> back. 20 years, and we already won this in the appellate court. The appellate court already said that there's a statute of limitation, that 99% of what he put in there is thrown out. But, Maria, th this isn't about this. This is a lawfare. They want to hurt my father, who is winning the presidential race right now. He's yep. beating Biden in every single poll, in every single swing state. He came out and said he wants to put hundreds of millions of dollars of his own money into his campaign. Right. And how do they deprive him of that? They have that judge that you have on the screen right there, come up with an astronomical number, give you zero time to post a bond, a bond that's not even commercially available in the United States. It's this, not, this is it, it, no one's ever seen a bond th this size. Every single person when I came to them saying, hey, can I get a half billion dollar bond? Maria, they were laughing. 
They were laughing. Yeah. Top executives of the largest surety companies had never seen anything of this size. And what, they're going to start seizing assets if he can't put up something that's not available so, in the United I mean, States? You said there were no victims. No one lost any money. You've paid everything back in, in plenty of time. So have you heard from the business community in, in New York? Are you disappointed that you're not hearing more uh, outrage from others? I mean, I've certainly heard from Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. He says he's questioning whether or not he'll ever sure. do business in New York again because of this. Sure. And by the way, and Joe Rogan's talking about it every single yep. day, and everybody Joe else Rogan. is talking about it. Yep. The entire Florida real estate community is laughing. The judge said that Mar-a-Lago was worth $18 million. $18 million. You can't buy anything on the island of Palm Beach for $18 million, let alone by far the largest house, a house that's probably worth a billion dollars. I mean, Maria, this is the entire Florida real estate community is laughing at this. The entire real estate community in general is petrified of New York. You know how much business New York State is losing because of this? Because they see this radical, and you even have the governor, Kathy Hochul, comes out and say, you know, we're going to do this to Trump, but we're not going to do it to any of you. Don't worry about it. We'll do it to him, but we won't do it to any of you. Mm -hmm. Maria, they're trying to deprive him of his cash. They want to bankrupt him. Uh, they want to hurt him so badly, and it's going to backfire because he's going to win is. this in November. And yep. everybody in this country universally knows exactly what these people are doing. So, so whatever money he has on hand, he wanted to put that toward the election and campaigning, which is, of course, what, what you've just said, that this is election interference. Will you be able to put up any money? Is there a plan in terms of putting up a portion of it? We, we've offered that. We've 100 percent offered that. And we're waiting for the appellate division. And I hope the appellate division comes back with something that's very sensible. But we've we've offered that. We've tried to be very reasonable. And we're going to win this entire case because the entire yep. case is is crazy. You had a runaway judge who just ruled against something that, again, the appellate division has already knocked out 85 percent of this case. But that's not the point. This is this is legal lawfare. They, they don't care. They just want to hurt a man. And, and um, again, they're sending tremors across this country. And by the way, Maria, I want to mention one other thing. Okay. People internationally are watching the charade. Mm. America's losing our standing in the world when they see this. People invest in America from all over the planet because they know we're the safe harbor, that this kind of stuff can't exist and doesn't exist. And now they're seeing this exist in the United States. You know the damage that does to our country? Uh, Eric, you and your brother have also... See, that's the thing right there, man. That's the reason why you see, like, how upset that Eric really is because this right here just don't make no freaking sense. They should lower the bond, even though they shouldn't have to pay nothing because I'm pretty sure that the appellate court, the Supreme Court, I'm pretty sure they see what's going on. They see that this woman, Letitia James, had a vendetta this entire time, even when she was running. I'm going to get Trump. I'm going to do this. They got to know that, that right, this right here is all political. It's an attack because they know Donald Trump is going to win. So what she's trying to do is, see, they think they slick. What this judge and Letitia James is trying to do is try to take all this man money so he won't have any money to run his campaign. So they think, oh, Trump just going to drop out. That's what they're trying to do. That's why they put their bun so high because they're trying to take all of his money so he won't have no, no money to campaign with. That's what they want to do. I told you, all of these people are working together. Letitia James, Fannie Willis, Jack Smith, Alvin Bragg, just all of these people are working together to try to take down Trump. Like I said before, this crap is not going to work. It's going to bite them in the butt in the end. I'm telling y'all now. Donald Trump is going to win in November, and we're going to, and I'm going to talk about all this stuff that they put this man through, even start of since last year. I'm going to talk about all of it because the more you attack Donald Trump, the more you are helping him in the polls, and that's the reason why you got Joe Biden and Kamala Harris going around right now trying to beg people to vote for him, trying to go to their town, play their type of music. Look what Joe Biden did. Why, uh, why uh, the news ain't talking about that, how he tried to feed a black family chicken, fried chicken. You know what I'm saying? So just see what Joe Biden and Kamala been doing. They've been trying to pander to everybody to try to get them to vote for him. That crap is not going to work. Now they're trying to make fun of Donald Trump. You got AOC, she up here talking about Donald Trump is broke. See, here's the here's my problem right here with people trying to say that Donald Trump is broke. Let some let some judge put 
a $454 million bond on you. Let's see, can you pay it? See, this the crap that I be talking about, how a lot of these people be hypocrites and be two-faced. They put a $454 million bond on Donald Trump. Now, if he, if a judge put that type of bond on AOC, Joe Biden, all the other folks, they couldn't pay it either. They couldn't pay it. But they want to call Donald Trump broke because it's not on them. They ain't the one getting hit with $454 million. It ain't, it ain't them. So now they just feel like they could just sit back and just call Donald Trump broke. They know that man ain't broke. That man, the man we, I'm pretty sure everybody knew Donald Trump had the money, but Donald Trump, like I said before, he got the money, but he ain't got the money to be given to them because he want to use that money that he has for his campaign, not to begin to a corrupt system. That's what he was saying. Also been ordered to to pay uh, a judgment. Uh, what role did you have in any of this? Absolutely nothing. And the judge, even in his final you know closing days, said that we had nothing to do with it. So all of a sudden, when we we're putting a judgment, you know that we each have to pay four or five million dollars, and we can't do business in New York, which the appellate court has already stayed. I'm saying they're saying, wait, wait a second. You're in, in in your final order. You said that we had nothing to do with this case, and now all of a sudden we can't do. Maria, the more that they so, see there, they said in the final judgment, we had nothing to do with this. But all of a sudden, let's still just get them both for five million apiece. That just corrupt. Like what the world is going on? That's the reason why I said Letitia James is corrupt. I hope this woman get disbarred and I hope this judge be fired. I can't wait for that news right there to break that the Tisha Jane has been disbarred and Judge Moron has been fired. That's the news I'm waiting on. They can name the Trumps, and the more that they can hurt us, the more they think it's going to benefit Joe Biden yep. in 2024. It's not going to work. What they don't realize ahead. is, again... Go ahead. Please. Go back to the reason that this is happening in the beginning. Um because they say he overflated his assets valuations. You had auditors looking at those valuations, correct? Yeah, and you had a disclaimer that's three pages long saying these are our values. You know, we believe Mar-a-Lago's worth this. And by the way, the values were very low. We believe Mar-a-Lago's this. So we believe Doral's worth this. But if you disagree with any of these numbers, go out and do your own valuations. You know, real estate subjective. We believe we have the best properties in the world. The values have proven to be low. I sold a hotel in Washington, D.C. that was substantially less money on the statement of financial condition than what I sold the hotel for. Mm. You know, it's, it's crazy. The only assets we have ever sold, we sold for more than were ever listed. But again, these points don't matter to these people, Maria. They're, they're trying to hurt an individual. Well, yep. What is the capacity that President Trump has to continue campaigning should they be able to take this kind of money from him? What happens next if they start seizing assets? And can they do that tomorrow? Well, well, in terms of my father, this isn't his first rodeo. Um, what he's had to fight through for the last eight years, I can tell you as a son, is, is unthinkable. For every bullet, for every attack that you watch on your show or on TV, Maria, I can tell you there's a thousand behind the scenes that we deal with as a family. The amount of arrows, the amount of shots that they've taken at this man, and he never, ever stops. He's the toughest guy I've ever met in my entire life. Yep. He's going to win in November. Yep. I don't care what they do to him. I don't care if they strip him of every single building, of every single property. He will never, ever, ever stop fighting. That's his conviction. That's who he is as a family. That's, frankly, who we are as a family. And, you know, we've seen this game before, and they can only cry wolf so many times, Maria. And um, yep. All of America is onto it. They, they, yeah. they know what this, they, they know what's happening. Uh, you know, Letitia James campaigned on this promise to do exactly this. That's and right. it's a disgrace to New York State. And I hope the appellate court fixes this problem. Eric, thank you so much for taking this on. Wow. As y'all can see, man, Eric did not hold back. He is pissed off and he have every right to be pissed off because this crap just don't make no sense at all. So hopefully we'll see exactly what's going to happen. Hopefully if he do have to pay a bond, it get lowered. And if that happened, y'all know I will be bringing y'all that video. But I definitely wanted y'all to uh, hear what Eric Trump had to say because he pretty much saying we ain't paying no $454 million because we ain't did nothing wrong. 
So that's pretty much what Eric was saying. So like I said before, man, thank you all for watching. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I catch y'all in the next one.